Julie, is there anything to eat? You don't even care what you've forgotten. What? What have I forgotten? You don't understand what I'm saying to you. Anyway, it wouldn't matter even if you knew what it was. Alright, alright. Tell me what I have forgotten so that we can both move on with our lives. You still don't understand what I'm saying to you? Are you even listening to me? Yes, I am listening to you. I have just come from working a 48-hour shift. And this is how you're talking to me? Just say what you're saying so that you can both move on with our hey, lives. Be quiet. You wake Kent up. You don't get it? It doesn't matter to you that you, you miss Kent's football game. It matters that you don't even give a damn about it. You know, if you had taken five minutes of your busy schedule to just consider what your son has been asking for constantly for three weeks. Julie, this is about the football game. <laughs> Finally, a straight answer. Well, yeah. so let me tell you something. Kent is not going to understand now. He's going to understand 10 years from now when he cannot go to the college school that he asked for because I was unable to work for 14 hours a day. And why are you giving me all this crap? Is it because I'm the only one who tries to move further hey. ahead? I'm not talking about all the work that you do. I know how hard you work. I'm talking about a little consideration for how your son feels right now. Not in 10 years. <laughs> you think you know how hard I work? <laughs> you have no idea how hard I work, my dear. Because every day it's the same thing. The stress I have to go through, the people I have to fire, and you never appreciate anything I have to do. All you think about are these PTA meetings, the football games, and I have let down Kent to us again. You're still not hearing me. Okay, you're hearing me, but you're not understanding me. You never understand what I, I try to say to you. And why aren't you looking at me when I'm talking to you? Do not go there again, please. Do not make this about me and my problems. You never tell me anything I have to do. What? What do I have to do? But make sure that there's a roof over my son's head. What do I have to do? Hmm? What, what do you want me to do? There is something more important than just paying school fees and buying football gear. Do you know that he is failing in all his classes? And this is his second year in P4. <laughs> How can I be there and pay for the things? They won't even exist. Kent will have to sit here and become a social outcast unless I make sure that I pay for the school, pay for the football games. And as for... As for his books, his grades, I think your son is slow. Still, it is more important for you to actually be there for the game than just to pay for it and walk oh, away. How can I? You are, you're not even trying to, you are not even trying to understand me. You don't even care. Do you, you just want to win this argument, don't you, David? You just want to win, you want to. If you win this argument with your logic, you lose. Because this is not about winning the argument. This is not about you or me being superior over the other. For God's sake, David, this is about Kent. And if you win this argument, you lose. Julie! You're just speaking in circles, you know? Saying whatever crap comes into your head to try to throw me off. Well, let me tell you something, Julie. I will not feel ashamed for doing what I do for my family. Okay? Mom, what's going on? I will not. Kent, baby, please go back to your bed. It's all right. You see? see what? You still don't see it? David, and where do you think you're going? I am not having this conversation again. Oh, yes, you are, mister. Where do you want to have it? In the bathroom? Bedroom? Seven.